Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans and beaver lovers out there. We are carrying on with the Rock Drop Derby first annual. We got the first 10 cars went down. We've got scores going on. Mounties have got the lead so far. We've got 15 more to go. So we are just going to carry on from where we left off with the Rock Drop Derby. Next car in line was the Beaverworks Camaro. This thing came back from Gripe and Soul Racing when they did their older, newer tournament. And over the ramp, it does a great job, puts it down to the landing ramp, and slams into that Superbird like a croquet shot. Just sort of punches them right into the edge, keeps it up on the wheels. That is a good jump. All those numbers are going to line up good. He kept it on its wheels. Checking out the replay, get a distance on that jump. Sliding in, nosedived at 6.5 centimeters on the landing ramp. That's going to be the score for the points. Check out the igloo replay the beaverworks 8 model camaro this one's out of the race shop and has been out there in the world has come back and is making a great job here on the rock drop derby after he gets into the super bird slams into the bottom there is getting to be a parking lot down there now there it is 6.5 centimeters drop 11 for the beaverworks camaro is going to net 15.5 centimeters in total Team Rally's got their Ford Escort RS is the rally champ going down next off the ramp. There he goes. Nice big air. Had a great jump and wasn't able to hold on to that landing. He came into the slide out area on his roof. Folks, that is not the way to come to the party on your back already. There he is upside down. That means this great big long jump that he just accomplished right there is not going to count. Let's see what the numbers are. 19.5 centimeters. That would have helped him out a lot too, but upside down so far, unless somebody's going to be nice enough to knock him back on his wheels, that means this score, this great big long jump, and that beautiful run by the escorts, not going to do any good because he ended up on his lid out the end. Now he needs somebody to punch him back up onto the top there he is 19.5 centimeters but status is inverted so that means it don't count but the way this system is we could get somebody knocking back on his wheels and this charger right here from the rcmp might do that for him here we go drop 13 not quite the jump he got on the last charger looks like he got a little short on the ramp but he was able to keep it on the wheels and Almost tried to knock that escort back on the wheels, but didn't get the opportunity there. Didn't get the jump. Didn't get the save. Let's see what the numbers are on the ramp right there. We thought he came in tail heavy, caught the edge of the ramp, which means he gets a distance of zero. No help for the Mounties on that. This could be the official error that gets the lead away from them. They needed that jump to keep up with the rest of the teams. We got some heavy hitters still coming in right there. Still on his wheels. It's still in the charger. Didn't help out the escort. There it is. Dodge Charger RCMP 0.0, .0 centimeters means zero help to their score. Still at 22. Team Trucks bringing out their wannabe truck. This is the AMC Eagle. Come on, these things are a great invention. All-wheel drive, big all-wheel air. Came down on the ramp, was able to keep it on his all-wheels when he came into that cruiser. Out the end, nice job done by that truck kind of station wagon, kind of SUV. We're not sure what that thing was. They didn't know it was in the 70s either. They didn't even know a car company built it. Let's check out the landing ramp. What a nice long jump. 12.5 centimeters on the landing ramp, and it counts. Team Trucks is going to need that. What a beauty looking ride this was, eh? This is when you had your urban adventurous, yuppy, young, mid-80s couple, no Yellowstone Adventures in this ride right here. Did a nice job on the jump. All right, there it is. The AMC Eagle, 12.5 centimeters, and that's going to bring the team up to 18.5. Team Superbird's got their next one. This is actually a Daytona, but they call it a bird for this one because it's just the exact same thing. Here it is, big air. Well, no, not big air. Well, he's all over the place. He just kind of got scrambled out the other side of that. Looks like he caught an edge on the ramp and that just turned him into nothing but uh, shaking rocks coming down that uh, landing ramp. He was all over the place. He was just rolling and looked more like a dice than he did a car and it just didn't get anything on the landing ramp either. That's a big old goose egg zero for the furious bird at a furious egg. All right, goose egg, nothing for that one. This is the fast and furious Daytona out of the five pack. So not top quality, no modifications, absolutely stock in it, absolutely wiped out right there at the bottom of the ramp. So that's kind of a good obstacle. If he had any points, he might get knocked back over on his wheels and help out the team, but not so much there. 
Team Beaverworks is back with their Toyota Off-Road. This thing came back from Gravity Throttle Racing. It's got suspension. It's jacked. It really does. And it does a great big barrel roll after a great big jump and ends up on his wheels. That's what off-road vehicles are all about. Look at him just smiling there. Looks like he almost tried to help out the Daytona as well, but plowed right through that. That was a big, long jump. Let's see how that suspension worked out for him. Coming down at 17 centimeters and making it look uh, making it look acrobatic, if anything else. Still landed on his wheels, and that's what counts at the end. There we go, Eagly replay. Great big air, great big bouncy, bouncy action. He's all over the place, plows into that Daytona, and almost rests it right there on the Fed's hood. All right, there he is, Toyota Off-Road, 17 centimeters. Status is up right, so it's going to count. Up next for Team Rally, it's the Lancia Integrale. This thing is the Rally legend right here from the Group P days. Big air, big landing, bounces off the Superbird, parks off by the cops. Great looking jump that was. This thing is, like we said, the Rally legend. The Lancia looks great. Got that big spoiler. New casting by Hot Wheels, like uh, last year, year before, something like that. Checking out the ramp cam, 17.5 centimeters. That is epically long jump that's gonna add on to the score they need that too all right check it out the replay great looking air great looking car this thing was debuted as a die cast car from hot wheels on the 3d bot maker channel that's a die cast history right there 17.5 centimeters on the ramp brings the score up to 23 for rally Next up is another Dodge Charger from the Mounties. Let's see how this one does. Down off the ramp, big air, nice landing, holds onto it this time, crashes into the integrally and the uh, Daytona down there. It doesn't do any difference, doesn't flip the Daytona back up there, gets some distance, puts another car in the pile at the bottom. Let's go check out some uh, ramp cam, get a distance on that one. Nice long jump that time, 12 centimeters. That's gonna add on to the Mounties. They needed it after that last one. All right, seems like uh, same casting, same car, all matchboxy. Sometimes they just perform differently, huh? This whole facility kind of acts as a roulette wheel, so that kind of gives you some random results. At the other side, there it is, 12 centimeters for the Dodge Charger. RCMP brings the feds up to 34. Team Trucks got their next stick they're going to throw on the pile down there, and it's the Studebaker. All right, Hot Wheels. Nice air. Brings it down to the good landing. Slams into the RCs down at the bottom there. Keeps it on his wheels. Makes it look okay. This truck is uh, almost semi-modified. It had a little bit of uh, paint work done on the one side, or paint removed either way. Still pretty much stock. Lands on the ramp. Gets some good distance. Keeps it on his wheels. Checking out that distance is 17 centimeters, and that's pretty Epic. That's nice and long. They need the extra points. All right. Checking out the e Clue replay. Coming down off the ramp. Looks great in the air. Makes a great landing. Gets a little bit sideways. Puts on a show and slams into those uh, cars out there in the uh, slide out area. Beautiful looking jump. 17 centimeter status is upright. And that's going to bring the trucks up to 35. Next up for Team Superbird, this is the winner from the Battle of the Birds competition we had here, the Hot Wheels Superbird. Nice air, good distance, and uh, keeps it on the wheels at the bottom there after he uh, decides to slam into the back of the Beaverworks Toyota there. And he's uh, kind of broadside, but he is upright. That's all good to go. All right, let's go check out some uh, distances on that landing ramp. Coming down, and it's looking like he's in at 12.5 centimeters. They're calling it on the ramp. Plus 12.5 points for the pile on Superbird. Let's check this thing out. This thing is uh, completely stock at that high ride height, and for some reason, it's just fast. This is one of those uh, magic cars you get, man. Did good in the Battle of Birds. Did good here. 12.5 centimeters. Another 12.5 points. Brings Superbird up to 19.5. Well, hope that you're enjoying the show so far, folks. We got a nice pile going on. We're about a little over the halfway point. We got a shout out we got to make here. Beaverworks International Gravity Throttle Racing. They're doing the Baja Bouncer Invitational and they're doing the time trials. So let's put this into perspective. We had to pick ourselves up the Baja Bouncer Premium Vehicle, turn it into a custom racer right there. And there's the Beaverworks one. We tried it out on our truck and hey, it did pretty good. But uh, Gravity Throttle Racing, Chavano Mountain Speedway is a completely different monster. And 
and they tried it out over there, and this has happened to us before there, folks, and then there, our run sucked. So they had this idea where you can uh, ask for some work done to your vehicle, and they did, and it cost us three points, and they did a wonderful job. Check out Gravity Throttle Racing for the rest of the action. All right, back after the break, we've got the Fox Body Mustang here from the Beaverworks team. This team came back from Manchild Motorsports. What a great big jump he did. He's got the full suspension. He's got some weight inside there. They pull out all the stops on that one. He did a great stop right there on the side of the Super Bird. He's broadside, but he's heavy. That's going to be hard to move that vehicle. And that was a monstrous jump, folks. we got to go back and check out the ramp cam on that one to get the measurement. All right, he's coming in airborne all the way down to 19 centimeters. I think that's the jump of the day, folks, and he's stuck. Bucket. What a great run that was for that Beaverworks Fox Body Mustang. That might have just sealed it right there. This is going to be a tough act to follow right there. Boom! Look at that. Just slipped right in there just like it was meant to be. And he's all hanging out. Looking good. 19 centimeters for the Fox Body Mustang. Brings the team up to 45.5. Last car for Team Rally, it's going to be this Honda N200. It's just a wee little pocket-sized car. He's over top of the jumping. Couldn't hold on to the landing. He ended up on its side, slid all over the place, kind of dice rolled out the end there. That's one thing about these short wheelbase little light vehicles on the rock drop jump. Just don't uh, have the same kind of performance. There it is there on the landing wrap. Now let's go check out the measurement, and it is zero. He wasn't able to get onto the landing wrap. Just touch the lip right there. That means it's going to be a goose egg it doesn't matter if he's upside down or not he's uh, officially now an obstacle all right he there it is down on the rip upside down into the mustang and sitting right there on the landing ramp and that's uh pretty much it for team rally they're going to be rounding out their score at 23 Last car for the Mounties, and it's going to be the Caprice Classic again. Let's see how it does this time. Last one did pretty good. This one can't really tell. It slid onto that landing ramp like it was butter, but didn't look like it got any kind of distance. We're not sure on that one. There he is crashing out the end, still on his wheels. Looks good down there. Let's see what the landing ramp says, and that's hard to tell right there. It looks like he caught the lip again, and they're going to call it... 0.5 centimeters. He just barely touched that, so it's going to be 0.5 on top of their score, which isn't that much, not that great. The last Caprice Classic flew like a bird, and this one just did not have the same kind of speed and just kind of glid right on that landing ramp like there was no jump there at all. So 0.5 centimeters for the feds on that one, and that's going to bring their final score to 34.5. Last chance for Team Trucks, we've got this kind of weird color. Chevy Cyclone going down off the ramp, big air, puts it down on the ramp nice and smooth and just slams into the pile because there's really nowhere to go down there, is there? Right off to the ramp, you're just hitting vehicle pile up and he managed to keep it on his wheels down inside there. Got to go check out the landing ramp, get some digits on this little Chevy Cyclone, see what he did. Coming down and it's going to be six centimeters on the ramp, not too shabby, down off the end and he's off to the scoreboard with another six points for team truck because they can use it all right there we go good launch not bad could have got a little more distance on that thing for such a little truck but hey we'll take what we can get right there team trucks coming out another six centimeters on top of their score which is going to bring them to an overall of 41.5 Final car of the entire event, we've got the heaviest car in the event at 65 grams. This is the Superbird Custom Job coming down off the ramp and plows into that pile. Looks like he took the rest of the bumper off of that uh, tow truck, brought it with him, slammed into the cyclo, managed to keep it up on his wheels, and he's kind of all propped up curbside on the edge right there and was still able to keep it upright. And there is the results of this whole pile right there, folks. 25 vehicles in there coming down. There's the Daytona. This is the to M2 Daytona, 13 centimeters on the ramp. That team can use the extra score. This thing was big and long and heavy. It's got like opening doors and opening hood. M2 machines do not screw around with their castings and neither are we screwing around with that competition. Putting it into the pile down there. There's no room to go. 13 centimeters. Status is upright. That's going to bring the overall score for this team Superbird to 32.5 and it's Team Beaverworks. 48.5. They're going to be walking away from this pile right there folks look at them all down there 
Beaverworks first rock drop derby, and it looks like it was a success. Nice big pile down there. Got a lot of vehicles. Got a lot of great action that happened on that whole setup. Let's go check out how Beaverworks got to all the points they did. Now going all the way back to jump number one and it was the one that didn't make it then we had the mazda went down put down for at least nine centimeters to get them onto the board then we had that excellent late model camaro 6.5 centimeters out of that one then the big monstrous jumps at the end when we had the toyota off-road made a good 17 centimeter jump and then that mustang came down with that monstrous 19 centimeter those were the jumps of the day home court advantage going to team beaver Wars. yeah this is all the custom vehicles been out there around the world getting another chance of glory on the home track playing on the rock drop derby and pulling it off showing that you do a little bit of customization in the right way and you can uh, perform pretty good on a five car team this whole event was inspired by the antics over at junkyard joe there and you doing a great job over there we just had to give it a shot pile up a bunch of cars down at the bottom of the ramp and see which ones could stay on the wheel Love doing this event. We might try it again in the future. We will definitely let you know. Probably get a chance to participate. Don't forget to support the channel. You hit that subscribe button, that big like button, and there's even that super thanks option. We definitely appreciate that. There it is, folks. The Rock Drop Derby first annual. Big Beaver Works shout out for all you good folks coming out here and checking out our stuff. From Beaverworks Diecast Racing, we will see you next time.